What's up party people? My name is Daryl and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing, beautiful product page using the Flatsum theme. Now, I recently just had a tutorial on Flatsum. A lot of people liked it. And in that video, I promised everyone that I would show you how to create a custom product page in another video. So this is that video. So here you can see that I have this product page and it's completely built up from the, you know, from the ground up. We have this little next button where you can navigate through other products and then we can you know go forward we can go back we have the breadcrumbs or the categories we have the title a little divider I mean, this really cool countdown and I got a little creative here and I just put a testimonial you know when people see five star and you know like oh so and so said this people will be more inclined to buy that product than maybe just some random description you know so you know you can you can customize this in any which way you want guys you can, guys can you know, get drunk and design your product page, whatever you want to do. So here you'll see that I had some description, additional information, and ultimately it's just a really clean product page. And I'll show you how to make this same product page in this video. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So the first thing you'll do obviously is you'll go to your dashboard. Also, if you want to make this same website or visit it, I'll leave those in the description below along with the demo website. So you can see how it looks right here. We have UX blocks. Now, I think by now you guys know that UX blocks are used to kind of design certain parts of your website. So here you can see uh, I, I'm using the UX blocks to design the shop page and I'm using this block to design my products. Now here I'll click on add new and I will make a new UX block for uh, a custom product page or custom product page here, custom product page. So just give it a name, you know, just give it a name. And the cool thing about this is that you guys can actually swap these UX blocks back and forth, depending on the season, maybe like maybe you have like a Christmas uh, product page layout or something like that. And um, you know, so here I'll click on publish. Now, instead of clicking on UX builder, we're gonna have to actually go on the front end and build it that way. I don't know why, but that's just how Flatsum works guys. So here I'll click on refresh. All right, so here I'll go to my, uh, my shop page and uh, I'll just click on a product. So I'll click on the e-watch. And right here where it says customize, I wanna click on product page. All right, so Flatsum has this weird style of building out your page. So you need to actually edit it from the front end. So don't ask me why, that's just how they want you to do it. So right here, you'll click on custom where it says custom product layouts you will select the block that we just made with nothing on it. So right here, custom product page. And then I'll click on publish. Now really quickly guys, you might wanna put like an under construction on your website plugin, or you might want to hide it because as of right now, people cannot see your products because it's blank. So just put it under construction up, you know, just there you go. And I'll close the theme customizer. So right here, you can see that uh, we need to open this to basically design our product page. So let's do that right here. I'll click on UX Builder. All right, and really quickly, I'll just click on this plus icon and introduce you to these other icons on the bottom. So on the bottom right here, I'll scroll down, just keep scrolling, just keep scrolling, there we go. Now here we have product page. So these are now available for us to use. So usually by default, if you use the UX Builder, you're not gonna have these, but now we have the option to build this or to add them. So first, let's just uh, let, let's before we get crazy here, let's let's just add a header, you know, page header. So a page header, I'll center this, and maybe make it dark or something like that, something like that. So you can create a header for your product, whatever you want to do. I just use this page header, and uh, yeah, that, that's good for me. The plus icon, I'll click on this. I'll select row. I want two rows. I want one for my image, and one for my um, description and all that stuff. Right here, I'll add an element. And let's let's see here. WooCommerce. Is there any way to, to make these make these uh come up quicker? I don't know. I think we have to scroll down every time. That's kind of inconvenient. You guys I fought some if you're watching this, you know that's come on, come on. Here we go. So WooCommerce product gallery, this will display the image for you. So here I want this full width. And if you want to see how this looks, just uh you know close the UX builder. And you can see that we're we're getting we're getting close here. We're getting a lot closer. Here, I'll click on Add an Element, 
Now you can kind of go through these elements and just kind of understand what they do. So uh, WooCommerce adds a cart. I'll just click on it, just to give you an example. It just shows the adds a cart. And you can kind of modify it a little bit slightly. You can kind of change the style flat and minimal. Hmm. I think normal is the best. What do you guys think? Yeah, normal is definitely the best. But anyways, I'll, I'll close that before we go crazy. So this is how you would basically start adding in little, you know, stuff like that. Like, uh, you know, all the little, the, the I guess you want to call them widgets or Elementor calls them elements. Divi calls them modules. I don't know what you want to call these things. Just just uh, buttons or I don't know. We'll just call them elements. All right, we'll, we'll, do, we'll just do elements. So first we will go ahead and put in our, uh, we need to add in our product breadcrumbs. So right here, product breadcrumbs. So this is essentially just telling people what it is. So home watches. And we can change this to something like large. All right. And then we can add in something else. So um, here I'll click on add an element. And then uh, maybe we here we can add in something like the title of the product, right? So scrolling down here, we will add in the uh, product title, product title. Okay, where'd it go? Oh, eWatch. I don't know why it's down there. That's really weird. Here, I'll take this and drag it in. I think I have to actually close this and do the, add it from here. So here we go. You have to add it inside. My bad. My bad. So here, product title. That was weird. All right, so we got the title there. Cool. Next, I'll click on the plus icon. And maybe here we can get a little creative. You know, you can add whatever you want. You know, there's no limit. I'll add, I'll add the countdown. There we go. We got the countdown and uh, we'll just do like 2020 or something like that. I don't know. Whatever you want, whatever, whatever you want to add in there, we can add it in there. So there you go. And here I added a testimonial in actually. So here I added a testimonial. I'll scroll down and add in a really cool testimonial. I wish I knew what these were or where they were. There we go. Apply that. And uh, right here, I'll click on plus again. Now you can also add in the description, guys. You don't have to follow me step by step, but if you want to add in the description, which which most of you would probably want to add in, right here it says product short description. So you can add that in right there. Now also what you can do is I'll click on this little uh, plus icon here. If you want people to scroll through your products, you would do the WooCommerce uh, product next preview. So this right here will allow people to scroll through your products. See that? Pretty cool. And then I think we're ready right here. So right here, we can go ahead and add it in the add to cart, right? So here, grab in the add to cart. Let's see, add to cart. Let's see, WooCommerce, you guys see it? There we go, add to cart. And voila, we're all done. Now, maybe you wanna get a little bit more customizable and add some social icons, which is what I did. So here, uh, social icons. Now, one thing I wanna note is that this is actually a little bit harder to, to um, there we go, hold on, hold on. Adding some uh, cool little social icons here. Actually, we don't need the email now. All right, next I will add in some tabs. So here I'll click on the plus icon and then I will scroll down and I will find in the tabs. I think that's what they call them, tabs or something like that. But um, yeah, product tabs, here we go, product tabs. And we can adjust this to change them to, you know, whatever style you want, so here, I don't know which one I did. I forgot which one I did by default. Was it pills? I think it did pills. It's a very funny name, pills. No, it wasn't pills. Was it outline? I think it was outline actually. I'm not really sure, but you guys can kind of go through this and check it out. Oh, it was sections. That was the one I used. Now also, if you want to change the position of these modules, you can only do it from within the row. So unfortunately, you can't modify each specific one step by step. So you'd have to do it by section. So what I mean by that is, for example, right here we have column, right? So under the column options right here, if you want to change the actual modules of where they are, uh, we can do that by going to, let's see where it is. Is it the text align? Yeah, there you go, text align. And then this right here would be different. So this right here, we can put this in the center is too as well. So something like, something like that. You guys get what I'm saying. So if you want to go ahead and change these, uh, there's various ways on how you can do it. You can create a section for each specific one and align them the way you want it, or you can just create one big section and just align it all in one way. So that's how I did it. So let's take a quick look at our product page. So 
ultimately it's it's great it looks fantastic i think this is an amazing landing page for a product i mean it's just like hurry up and buy it guys like what are you stupid so here i'll click on apply and update now let's see the rest of our products to make sure that this is working so here i'll go to my shop page and uh, i'll click on the headphones and cool one thing I want to note that these are going to automatically, or I'm sorry, dynamically update. So depending on the product that you pick, everything's going to change according to the product. So don't think that this is just some template for all of your products. Whatever you put for each individual product, it will dynamically update. So here, Supercell, right? Supercell. And then the description for Supercell will be right here. And then you can go through all of your products to make sure it's working. So. Uh, that's pretty much it guys so you can see here i just made a custom product page and i applied it to my products now also if i want to change the um the product page back i can do that as well so i uh, just give you an example let's just say um you know okay they're all like this one but i don't like it let me go back to the other one you would just go back to the other one and then that's it so uh, you can see here how you can have various product pages for you know, uh, I don't know, at any time of the month or however you want to do that. So that's how you create a custom product page with Flatsum. So if you guys have any questions, um, leave them for me in the comments below. Also, feel free to check out my new tutorial I made with Flatsum where we create this same website. And um, it's a beautiful website. It looks fantastic. But I just didn't want to cover the product page in that video because, you know, there's a lot of beginners and they might not know and they might get confused. So... That's why I'm making this video. But again, my name is Daryl Wilson. Hopefully this video helped you out. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.